In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through what is in my soccer slash football bag for game days during the season. And I'm also going to be giving away this to one of you guys. So stay tuned. Hi right, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Like I just said, today we're going to be going through my football slash soccer bag. Here it is. However, this isn't actually the bag. We're going to be getting a proper travel bag in the next couple of days. So if you guys are interested in seeing a video where I go through what we receive as student athletes, then make sure you comment that down below. But for today, that's going to be the bag. So the first thing that I'm going to get out of the way is the one that makes all the noise. It is my protein blender bottle. After every single game, I try and have protein. Obviously, I fill it up with water about halfway normally, used straight after the game. So I'm making sure that I'm getting those nutrients, etc., on board after the game, replacing them from what I've lost. Moving in to the actual bag, essentials for any baller, a pair of slides. I've got Adidas ones, you can have Nike, you can have Puma, any brands want to sponsor me, feel free. Just slides, everyone has them, I'm fairly sure. For shower needs, for just socializing, walking around, just chilling, wearing your Jesus socks with your sliders on. It's a fashion style. Moving on, and we have got an essential in Missouri weather. Sun cream, right? It is absolutely roasting in the middle of America. I mean, it's like 30s, high 30s. I'm absolutely baking, so this, is very, very important for me to make sure that I don't just fry up and turn into a lobster. Delving deeper in and we have what is used for my protein. I put my protein powder in here. So it's like a travel case basically. Chocolate protein powder goes in here. And then in this top one, I've been putting my um, BCAAs, creatine, caffeine, thingamajiggy. This is what I've got. It's by the Amino Co. And then mix that up with a bit of Gatorade powder, for example. A bing bang boom, you're sorted for the game. You're absolutely buzzing. You've got a little bit of caffeine system and you're replacing the electrolytes you're already about to lose. Moving down and we're actually looking at a piece for our new kit haul. There it is. It's um, just a little zip up, quarter zip pullover. Nice little material just for maybe warm ups if it gets a bit cold, but right now when you're on the coach, just chilling out and uh, traveling to the games, etc. Onto proper pieces of kit for game day. It's my shin pads. Here they are. I've had these ones for a while. Basic Nike shin pads. As you can see back in the day, I've had them this long, right? Adidas came up with uh, the chips that you could put in the bottom of your boot. And I thought I was an absolute inventor and uh, cut this hole out so that the chip could go in there and track my steps, track my meters, etc. I was on this GPS tracking game before it was even popular, boys and girls. I was using Adidas Me Coach within Nike shin pads. I mean, there's no rules. So these are my shin pads, and also, don't know if you spotted it, but this goes in my left shin guard for the game. And you're probably wondering, what on earth is that? Why have you just got like an old little towel? This is, <laughs> it's not even white. Uh, it's basically a good luck charm. It's a handkerchief that my dad gave to me after my first trial to come to America. I've kept it ever since and I wear it in my shin pad and I don't wash it throughout the season. Superstition, maybe. Does it work? Maybe not, but that's something that I do. Always goes in my left shin pad for the games. Diving a bit deeper and we've got slides, as they call them in America, or compression shorts is what I would call them. These just go under the kit. You know what they do, people. I wear these without underwear underneath. Some people wear underwear, then slides, then shorts. For me, that's overcomplicating it because you've got to be a bit free down there if you know what I'm saying, boys. These were just cheap ones. They came in a bunch of like six off Amazon. They do the job. That is what I wear underneath to stay comfortable and stay mobile when on the pitch. Now the final item of proper sort of kit is my Maestro socks. Grip socks. I started wearing grip socks last semester. I know I was very late to the game on that one because I did try them out previously years ago when, I, when true socks were first around. I did try them out, but they gave me some blisters back then. So I was a bit cautious up until last year when I was slipping around in my boots and I thought, look, I'll give it another go. So last semester I wore grip socks and uh, this semester the guys over at Maestro have uh, sponsored me. And so I've been wearing these bad boys, training every day in them playing games in them. Um, a lot of the boys on our team do the cut sock thing where you have your grip socks underneath and you cut the game day socks so that they just come pull down, shin pads, blah, 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 blah. These are the grip socks that I've been using. If you do fancy getting yourself a pair of them, I would recommend them. Look at that, beauties. 
Use the code LOTG10 to get 10% off. They're already extremely, extremely affordable. So uh, yeah, go get yourself a pair. That is another part of my game day kit in my game day bag. Now, arguably the most important part is your football boots. I mean, I guess when you're younger, you don't need football boots. You play in your socks, you play in your bare feet. But uh, when you're playing on the pitch, you need a pair of boots. Here mine are the Phantom GTs. These ones were the uh, Scorpion Drop. These are getting on a little bit now. I've been using them day in, day out. Currently waiting for a couple new pairs of boots to arrive, but these are bad. These absolutely reek. Phantom GTs do have a bit of a weird thing. I must say that when you first get them, they really bite in on the heel. So if you're thinking about getting GTs, maybe you consider that. Make sure you're taping up for any blisters that you might get. These are the boots that I'll be wearing definitely at the beginning of the season. And um, yeah, essential for your kit because you don't want to get to a game day and have that sinking feeling that you've forgotten your boots because you've had it before. I know it. I've had it before. And it is an absolute killer. Never do it, boys. Remember your boots. And uh, yeah. Now, moving on to the last piece of equipment. It's the one you've all been waiting for, people. It is the Sports Massage Gun. This one is from Sportnet. I did a collaboration with them a couple of weeks ago, and they've sent me this one out to give to you guys. So on my Instagram right now, there is a post, and it is for a giveaway of this exact Sport near massage gun. It has never been used. It's brand new and I will send it out to whoever the winner is So the conditions of the giveaway are on my Instagram check this post out right here That is what you're looking for go check it out follow the instructions and uh, Enter yourself with a chance to win this besides the point of the giveaway This thing is incredibly important just for between games. We have Friday Sunday turnarounds that is ridiculous You only have one day to recover So these things really come in handy because you can do some recovery on your own whilst you're at home Incredibly helpful. That is pretty much it boys and girls That is everything that is in my football slash soccer bag This is everything that I would include for a home game day and also like include it for away game day But on away days, there's also extra things like pillows like things for overnight stays um, so there's a bit more of extra stuff that goes into that but these are the essentials oh I also forgot to add this check it out new hydro flask I've gone from the old Gatorade one to a big boy basically this one just cooks in the Sun whereas a hydro flask keeps it cool so up there thinking down there for drinking boys that is it for today's video I hope you have enjoyed it next week is a massive one because the lot G season 2 is back remember do it for the love of the game. Push.